So if you have heart disease, there are certain medications that most of you take one or more of these. One of them is the beta blocker. Metoprolol, Coreg, Carvedilol, Atenolol. Those are medications that help your heart beat more like it did when it was young. Remember, your heart is a muscle. So when you're younger, your muscle is good like this muscle on mine. But as we get older or the heart gets sick, it turns into this. That's no fun. It's no fun for me to show you, and it's no fun for you to have your heart muscle get too weak to pump as strong as it used to. So the medications that you take, beta blockers, they help the heart take up more blood and pump out more blood. It's a little like this baster in my delicious chocolate milk. So when you have a beta blocker, it helps the heart beat stronger and also slower so that it has more time to fill with blood just like my big red baster filling more with chocolate milk and then pumping out more without your beta blocker your heart or my turkey baster would probably only take up a little chocolate milk take up a little chocolate milk pump out a little chocolate milk but your beta blockers help your heart beat stronger and then fill with more blood so it's a critical piece of your heart disease management. Yes, they could make you a little more tired, and yes, you take them anyway. The second one are your nitrates. Now, not everybody takes them, but isosorbide uh, or nitroglycerin under the tongue. Really the same drug, and what it does is it relaxes the blood vessels of the heart. So when you have some chest pain, more than Likely, that means that that part of the heart might not be getting enough oxygen. And so you take nitrates that relax the blood vessel and make your, uh, the blood vessels into this big, huge straw so that more blood can feed that heart muscle. It works if you swallow it down on regular interval, intervals, like three times a day as isosorbide or isordil, or it works if you put it under your tongue. It works quicker that way. So once again, nitrates help open up the blood vessel so that the heart gets more oxygen. The other ones are very unpopular, and they're your water pills, and that's for people who take Lasix, furosemide, torsemide, Demodex, or even metalazone. These medications and their only function is to rid the body of extra fluid. So what we have here is a sponge, but I want you to imagine this is you. This is your body after going to the Olive Garden, or this is you after a ham sandwich, and then your water pills help squeeze out most of the fluid that shouldn't be in your body. If you take metolazone or extra water pills for a flexible diuretic, then it really squeezes out extra fluid. Water pills are very unpopular and they are very necessary. Once again, when the heart gets older or gets sick and the kidneys, the organs of the body who make the urine, if the kidneys get older or they get sick, you're not turning the fluids that you swallow or that your body makes into waste to get rid of, it stays on the body. And that water pill helps really wring out your body in a very good way. It makes it so that your body doesn't hold extra fluid that goes in your lungs and causes pneumonia, or goes in your legs, or goes in your belly. So the next time, just remember the role of the medication, why you take what you take, because that way you'll understand when you swallow down those pills or have to pay for those pills or have to go pick up those pills. Remember that those medications are helping your body do what it used to when it was younger or healthier.